Hey everyone, better late than never. It's been a huge weekend for me uh, here in New Zealand and uh, I want to talk to you this week about competition and I was going to record this video probably about two or three days ago. This weekend has been our uh, annual firefighters competition. So what happens in this part of the world, in Otago and Southland, is that every year a whole bunch of different volunteer fire brigades get together uh, and run a competition with a whole bunch of little two-stroke water pumps. They're called Wajax pumps. So every year we have a competition, we get together uh, and we run teams of drills to basically go set up water pumps and pump water and squirt targets and all sorts of good fun. So it's a really cool family weekend. It's a big event. It's usually a three-hour drive away. Uh, and so that was what happened this weekend. And uh, as I said, I, I wanted to record this video uh, and talk about competition uh, in the context of going into Ajax weekend. And then it just, the whole thing just blew up. So uh, my truck failed. It's currently having a sleepover at the mechanics because it's wrecking, uh, leaking oil out of the red diff. Like it's just, just not a good look. Um, my mate's trailer, two wheel bearings gone, his truck, rear brakes, like it was just one thing after another all weekend. But we did make it to a tau, tau and we got out there and did our thing. And um, and it was it was this great sense of uh, like just going through that whole experience of competition. And I think one of the one of the standout things for me is that this whole weekend has has been not about the number of trophies we took back. We send teams every year. We usually send three teams from our brigade of, uh, there's roughly 12 to 16 people in our brigade, running teams of four. So we send three teams every year. And um, there is a, a mixed competition, a, a men's and mixed competition, what they call the open competition. And then there is a women's competition. And, uh, and as I said, we send teams every year, we go out and compete, we give it our all. Um, there's a lot of pride involved across all of the brigades around stepping up and performance. Um, you know, this is not, it, it is about going out and having fun, but, but it's also about just satiating that need that all of us have to go out there and compete. And, and I learn a lot about business through some of these experiences outside of the business environment. And, and this weekend was no exception. So what I what I loved about this weekend was that our our crew leader had um, at the end of end of the weekend had come up to everybody and said, "Look, it's just been such a pleasure to have all of these other brigades come and have a chat to me this weekend about a how they want to be part of the Glenorchy team. So the just the the way that they're watching us operate is." It was, it was noted that we weren't three teams competing. We were a unit. We were a group of, uh, of uh, we were a crew as a whole. Um, and that showed up for people. It showed up in the way that whenever one group of people was asked to pack up gear, Glenorchy went as a whole and packed up as a whole. It was little things like moving the equipment out of the work area so that you're not pouring water everywhere as you're as you, in between the runs. You're keeping the work area clean. And it was, it was the way that you showed up at the dinner and the gala and all of those things. You show up as a unit and the banter and the fun that's going on. And it's obvious to everybody that you are a team as a whole. And, and, and also recognizing that they don't necessarily feel that in their own brigades all the time. And, and so for me, it was this piece around stepping into high performance but also acknowledging that there were things that we chose to do differently. And so as you start to get into that environment of one team, one crew, one purpose, the competition changes. And so we made a couple of decisions this year as a group. The, um, as I said, there's, there's always been a men's and a women's competition or an open and a women's competition. Not, was, it didn't happen originally at the start, but over time, the women's competition evolved as a way to try and encourage women into the fire brigade. Uh, beautiful intent. Uh, currently we run a men's and a women's competition and up until a few years ago there were different rules so uh, we didn't have to run as women, we didn't have to run in our um, full PPE kit, we didn't have to run in boots, we could run in sneakers um, and we haven't had to rotate positions and there's there's a few different things that have gone on but basically where we're at today is that the men's and the women's competition is exactly the same except for one difference and that is that in the men's competition you draw names out of a hat as to who runs which position in the drill and there's set rules about what you can do uh, and and you rotate your position for every run so there's four races and you rotate your position through the four positions for those four races in the men's competition in the women's competition you run the same four races 
There's the same rules governing the actions for the team members that run those positions. But you don't have to rotate positions. You don't have to do the rotation that the boys do. It's the one thing that's left between the girls and the boys competition. So uh, going into it this year, we, we've run the women's team, as we always do. And, and then run uh, men's teams or mixed teams. So women can run in the men's division. Uh, but we made some choices. And the, the choices that we made were that next year when we run, we will run three mixed teams. We're going to draw names out of the hat. And we're actually going to, for our own brigade, essentially eliminate the women's competition. We may still run a women's team for the purpose of encouraging the women's competition to continue, but that's actually a separate discussion. As a brigade, we're going to run the women in the men's competition because we're trying to step up and step into a, a, a more conscious conversation about equanimity, about reducing that gap, about eliminating that gap. So that was one thing that we chose to do. And the second thing that we chose to do was to pack up as a brigade. So instead of one team packing up after another, if a Glenorchy team is packing up, we all pack up. And so there were these deliberate decisions that we've made this year and into next around how we are going to choose to show up as a brigade. And we're not, we're not going after the rule changes. We're not about necessarily changing the system at this point, but it's about this constant leveling up. And, how this all wrapped back to competition was that I found it incredibly interesting to watch the way that our brigade has evolved the competition so that it's less about the trophies that we take home at the end of the day. Now, that doesn't mean it's not important. It does not mean that we don't go out there and run our little hearts out uh, and and that we are not practicing and, and that we are not striving for high performance. Um, our guys team ran one race in practice at a minute 10, which would have been absolutely the winning time if we'd managed to do it in competition this year. So we are constantly striving for that high performance. But the way that the competition is evolving for our team is that it's about how do we show up better ourselves? How do we show up as, a, as individuals and as a brigade in a way that's constantly lifting the bar? And so those little things, when the entirety of the Glenorchy team goes up to pack up the gear and to support each other, and those other brigades take notice and go, hey, maybe we need to lift our game. Choosing to uh, eliminate the women's competition next year and run our women in mixed teams, which other brigades do as well, but choosing to effectively get rid of that gap and say, you know what? This is how we're going to do it. It's that constant stepping up. And so the trophies and the accolades and the times, sure, that's important. But the entire nature of competition is changing within our team because it's about not the competition with others, but comp competition with self. And so how do we continually strive to step up and to better ourselves in a way that is more than just about the time that you raced or the, the time for that particular competition. How We're actually evolving that conversation about what competition is and doing it in a way where we set an example that others wish to follow. And so I wanted to share that with you this weekend because it is March, it is Otago anniversary, it is Wayjax weekend and that's um, that's a big part of my life and 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 to, so to share that with you uh, to to start to talk about how do we evolve the competition beyond simply those indicators that we see in front of us around financial incentives, uh, you know, cost control, customer advocacy, whatever those external measures are, and evolve competition into something that's more about those internal measures as well. Because you know what, when we do, it means that we're better to, able to show up on the day. It means that we've got better resilience for when the truck breaks down and the rear brakes need fixing on the trailer and the next thing happens. It, it's evolving as a human being and being able to build in that buffer and build in that team spirit, build in that competition so that when you show up, people want to join your team. People want to be a part of that because they can see it. They can see that it's special. They can see that it's different and they want something of it. And it's about showing that example to the world. So I'll leave you with that today. I hope you've had a fantastic weekend. I've had a fantastic and exhausting weekend. Uh, I'm probably going to go and collapse for 24 hours. But I hope wherever you are in the world today, you're having an awesome, awesome day. And I'll see you again next week. Thanks.